Hey everybody and welcome back to SCDC ENT Presents The Average Woman Podcast. I am that lady Miss Nicole coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear and true to my heart. So today I want to talk about being a good businesswoman. Okay. A lot of us trying to have our own business, trying to boss up, level up and everything. But the, the problem is, is that some of us don't even have the understanding of business ethics. There's a lot of courses on, on, on YouTube and all over the place to teach you how to do business, but no one tells you how to have any kind of business ethics. So that's what I want to talk about today, because I believe that it's not just enough. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing for a, a, someone to spend money with you. But people want to spend money with people who provide good service. You know, don't, don't, be, don't be a, shin, a, a swindler. Don't be a shyster. You've got to learn to have good business ethics about yourself. The first thing that we have to understand when we're going out here uh, doing business is that our word has to mean something. You know, so, you know, a lot of us, our word don't mean nothing on regular days, let alone, you know, during business time, you know, but if you want someone to take you serious and because people work hard for their money, people don't want to give their money away to nobody and you ain't doing right by them with their money. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to give up their money to somebody who they see or who they see don't mean them no good. Present company included. If I order something from you. Or if you're not able to fulfill my order, then let me know up front so I can know that I can go somewhere else. But people work hard for their money. And you get me, you you work hard, you doing all this, you paying for the website, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing all these great things. And then at the end of the day, you um at the end of the day, you don't, you can't get no reoccurring sales because you are a bad business person. And eventually all that bad sales person, that bad salesmanship catch up with you. And don't nobody want to do business with you. The best type of person to be is a person that's open, honest, and upfront. Let the person know what you can do. Let them know what you can't do. Don't try to steal and always give the person the best product that you could possibly give them. Don't send somebody some stuff that you don't want. And don't make promises that you know you can't keep. Be honest and be upfront and let your price reflect what your product is about. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have some integrity. And I think that's where we go wrong at. We don't know we don't know how to treat one another. Everybody wanna everybody wanna make money and do business and have this and have that, but you don't even wanna treat treat people correctly. You know, we have got to learn how to treat people better, especially when we spending our money. We all work too hard for money. Don't nobody give none of us nothing. So when you're doing business with somebody, the first thing that you need to do is learn is that my word has to mean something. So if I tell you that I'm going to do something, you're expecting me to do it, I should do it. And if you're not able to do it, then give them back their money and make the situation right. That should be without, that should even be without a, that shouldn't even be a concern or a problem. If you do somebody wrong, then you make it right period point blank you know but we have to make our word has to mean something in business and we'll be right back after these messages hey everybody hey and we are back scdc ent presents the average woman in the day i'm asking you ladies to boss up boss up with your attitude and that's the next the next point I want to make when you are a businesswoman you are you you are supposed to hold yourself to a higher standard than just a typical everyday person you're out here moving and shaking and you are providing a service when you are providing when you sit down to your desk to create your business plan, certainly you are taking some kind of pride into what you are doing. So when you come across, when you start giving people bad customer service, it's a bad reflection of you. People don't you people don't deserve bad customer service. When you, if you do something to offend somebody or if someone is upset with you, you need to learn to take their upset on the chin because you did that to them to make them feel that way. 
So don't go back and forth word for word with them. Don't have an attitude like you don't care. Be apologetic, be humble, be willing to make it right. And that goes a long way in the business world. People who might, who might not never deal with you or might not have never would have deal with you, they'll say, you know, I didn't like the way my product was, but they attitude, her attitude was so good, I'll spend money with her again. Or I'm not going to badmouth her in the streets to somebody else uh, because of the situation. I'm just going, you know, I understand things happen. And most of us, we want to be understanding. We want to have you know, have your back and support black businesses. And, and, but your, your attitude determines your altitude. You cannot come to work with an attitude, disrespecting people and thinking that people are going to mess with you because yeah, you could, how many, I mean, how many customers could you really afford to lose? It's all, you already have to work twice as hard to get them attracted to your business. And then once you start getting the business, you're not able to keep up or you don't, you have incompetent suppliers and these people, I mean, what are they supposed to do? You know, you're failing as a business owner because number one, you're not making arrangements for the situation. You're not trying to be more understanding and compassionate to your customers. You don't try to make it right. You rather argue with somebody or duck and dodge and hide. That's not the marks of a, of a, of a businesswoman. A businesswoman doesn't go run and hide. She take care of her business. You know, whatever the situation might be, she'll get on the phone with the vendor. She'll do whatever it takes to make it right because her reputation is on the line. And when you're a woman, you take your swagger and your and your business very serious. You, you don't just want your name being associated with all kind of thievery and, you know, ill intent. Because that stains your reputation and it doesn't allow your business to grow. You understand? You have to learn to hold yourself to a certain level, especially if you're out here in these streets trying to do business with our people. We need to learn to provide our people with with great customer service and respect, whether they deserve it or not, because we give it to everybody else. So this message is to my business women. Step your game up with your customer service and the way that you treat your people. It is, it is very important that we learn how to love and treat one another better when we doing business and taking each other money. And we'll be right back after these messages. All right, and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I'm that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today and talking about being a good businesswoman. So... The first, the, the third thing that you definitely need to understand as a businesswoman is that the most important job that you have is your home. So it's all right to have these aspirations to want to do great things and run businesses and everything, but you got to take care of your home first. You cannot allow your family to go lacking because you are the nervous system. You are the heart of the house. So you got to take care of everything, you know? And if you have kids that's older, that's great. You can put them to work in the business and teach them how to help you and create a family career uh, business. Um, If you're trying to build up a business, you definitely want to get your kids involved to help, to teach them so that they can learn different skills and traits to learn how to build family wealth. But the most important job that you have is your family. So it's all right to try to build businesses and all like that. But you remember that home is is important and home got to be taken care of first before everything. You understand? So don't bite off more than you can chew. You can chew. You won't have to definitely take your time and do a little bit at a time because there's no need for you to try to get overwhelmed because ain't nobody to help you but you. Ain't nobody going to believe in your dream more than you nobody gonna put in more work for your dream than you're going to so having said that take pride in what you do but your most important investment and the most important anything that you have going on is your family so don't neglect them and I understand that we need the money and the money gotta come the money gonna come you know what I'm saying because we ain't just we don't we're not just relying just on this 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 business to take off because we know things take time 
But <clears throat> what we are going to do is we're going to take our time and allow ourselves to make sure that we do things the right way. Because a lot of times when we do things the wrong way and we get ahead of ourselves, we curse our whole situation and our business don't end up coming out how we want it to be and we don't be happy. Because you cannot, you cannot build, uh, you cannot build your life on somebody else's back and think that that, that foundation is going to be strong because it's not. When you build, a, if you build anything on a on a shaky, crazy surface, uh, with with all kind of stuff under it and everything, if you can if you don't build nothing on a smooth surface, it's just not going to work. So you have to have a strong foundation. You know what I'm saying? But you have to set yourself up to have that strong foundation. Plain, period, plain, point, and blank. You have to set the foundation up so you figure out how to to work your business and your dreams and your spare time. If you're working this nine to five, you know, that's what you choose to do. But just because you choose to do that, that does not neglect all the other important things that you have to do, such as making sure the house is clean, making sure that the family has clean clothes, making sure that the family can eat, making sure that the bills and everything are taken care of. Like, that's all yours. That's all yours, especially if you ain't got no man. That's all yours. So, yeah, you can have a business, but them kids and, and, and your, and, and the, but the kids come first, the family come first. Because without them, you ain't nothing. And that's the reason why we get out of bed and why we do what we do. I know you think it's for some other reason because our mamas raised us to be selfish and just think about ourselves and what we want. But you only want, you, the only reason why they desired a job back in the days was to provide for the family. To make sure that the family could get a new dress or something on, on during the holidays and the family could eat good. And to support one another in some kind of way, we forgot that. You not no kind of businesswoman if you can't even take care of your house. The house come first. That's your foundation. That's your office. That's where you that's that's the house come first. Before anything. And good businesswomen know that. You gotta take care of the most important thing because your house is gonna take care of you. In in the end. And we'll be right back after these messages. And we are back. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Average Women Podcast. I appreciate you. I appreciate you listening to me. And listen, I want to know, do you think that my, do you think I'm, I, am I, do I talk too much or do I not talk enough? Am I not explaining it well enough? You know, help me out. Um, do you, would you like, because I've been trying to make them shorter because I know like y'all busy and you got things to do. But you need to look, you need, you have to slow yourself down so you can hear and you can understand and you can learn. I try to be thorough with my conversation so you really understand where I'm coming from and feel me. You know what I'm saying? We, we need to be, we need some, you, you gotta, you gotta let a woman get in your ear to really be able to open your mind up so you can really see what I'm trying to say. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care what you're doing. You got to have, you got to carry yourself a certain type of way. You got to have some business about yourself as a woman. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a woman about that. If, if you did somebody wrong, you should feel obligated to make it right. If somebody putting their trust in you, that's how you set yourself up above everything. Mean what you say and say what you mean. Do what you say you're going to do. You understand? Hold yourself to a, a certain accountability about yourself. Just don't let your don't let your mouth write checks and, and destroy your reputation because that's part of that Proverbs 31 woman that her reputation speaks for itself and she would never allow herself to be caught out there being uh, disrespectful or getting disrespected. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to handle any type of situation and you don't have to always take the low road. You learn how to do better. You learn how to admit when you wrong and you fix shit when you wrong and don't argue about it because you're wrong and it's all right to be wrong, but it's what's wrong is wrong. And when you try to make excuses for you being wrong and not just womaning up and, and taking your wrongness, that's when you become, a, that's when, that's when you become foul. 
that's that's when you revert back to being a child because children don't understand how to behave and how to do things. We are grown women. So of course we should know better by now. And if we don't know better by now, then what's the problem? You know, if you're a businesswoman, if you're a woman, if you're a mother, if you're in any type of leadership role, you need to learn to set, lift yourself up above the, the average foolishness, hold yourself to a certain standard of womanhood so that you could be a light to everybody and people could see that you're actually walking the walk and talking the talk. You know, I'm going to provide you excellent customer service because I could do a lot of things, but I'm going to make sure that you're satisfied because guess what? I want your business again. I want you to tell your friends about me. I want you to tell your cousin and everybody else and anybody else that you could think of how good of, of service I gave you. And these people are going to trust me and they're going to mess with me too. Not just, I don't care. No, don't have that attitude because that one person can multiply your business to multiple people. You understand? So everybody matters. Every encounter matters. Every every bad review, it matters because it's always a way that you could save a, a sale or save a relationship or gain an ally. If you learn how to handle your, your business and handle your mouth and learn how to talk and be reasonable and don't be so quick to have an attitude be quick to understand be quick to be quiet be quick to listen to what is going on and 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 just understand and I'm not saying that they right because I know a lot of times they don't be right I know but as business women <clears throat> and as women who have business about themselves you have to rise to the occasion and learn how to handle your business what res- and, and have respect for yourself because that's all that is it just shows how much respect you have for yourself what are you going to allow yourself to do like I like to always quote James Brown I ain't going to let you get me out of myself I'm not going to let you get me out of myself now if I did something wrong if I sent a package to the wrong address if I did whatever I did I'll deal with that I'll deal with that and if I offended you in any way then I apologize about that but I'm not going back and forth with you. What can we do to make this better? I don't want to lose your business. That's the attitude to have. Instead of F you, you can get these hands. (laughs) We've got to do better. We've got to do better. We've got to learn how to treat each other. If you look like me and you come into me and I'm here to help you, yeah, I, I, I want you to, to look out for me and I'm going to look out for you and I want you and I'm going to treat you with respect and I'm going to tell you the truth and I want the same thing from you and man if we could just begin that process that'll just if we could just have a level of respect for each other with business we could just we could do all kind of things after that because we don't have to agree but we have to have at least have enough respect to listen to one another and accept that you might be wrong or I might be wrong, but whatever it is, we're going to just deal with that and we're going to go on about our business. We don't have to put hands on each other. We don't have to resort to all kind of stuff. We don't even have to get them folks in our business. We should be woman enough to deal with whatever the problem is and handle it. I mean, this is what this is the this is the part of the business that you forgot how to maintain the business how to maintain the business, how to keep the customer wanting to come back and fucks with you because you're such a good person. You know what I'm saying? That that kind of stuff. That's what you want. You know what I'm saying? And I want to see you do that. Hold yourself to a, a level of standards. Be good to your customers. Appreciate your customers. Go above and beyond their expectation because everybody can act like, a NI, in a, act like a N-I-G-G-A. Everybody can act like that. But be a businesswoman. Set yourself up. Hold yourself to a certain standards. Write your your mission, your goal, and hold yourself to that 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 level of, of standard of care. Be willing to make things right when it's wrong. Apologize when you're wrong. Apologize when you're not wrong. Shit, what's wrong in saying I'm sorry? Shit, I don't care. 
Ain't no skin off my nose, but I do want your money, so I'm gonna make it right. We need to learn how to treat one another. We need to learn how to how to buy and support for one another. If you're selling something and you put it out there, we should support you. If you have a product or something that we need. Now, I can't say if you don't have nothing that I'm not using, then I'm not going to buy it. That's just how I am. If it's something I don't need, I'm not going to buy it. But if it's something that I need, I'll buy it if you're selling it. Without no, no problem. You know? And I think that we all should be that way. And, um, you know, because a lot of our sisters doing major things, trying to make major moves. Also, you can also uh, join my traditional women's group on Facebook. Um, we have some great sisters in there that teach traditional values, you know, for the most part. <laughs> so please uh, like and subscribe. And I say shalom. Have a good night.